Uh, so, yep, yeah, let's start the uh, today's uh, demo session. Uh, first, uh, yeah, let me introduce myself. So, I'm Sai, having five years of experience into uh, information security domain. Currently, I'm working as a cybersecurity consultant for one of the MNs in India. So, I'm basically a VAPT professional. Okay, so i know the vulnerability assessment okay i handle the entire uh, vulnerability management okay from the deployment to you know delivering the uh, results like patching and, and and all the different aspects in the vulnerability management so and also i do the penetration testing for network web application and mobile and here are the few EC Council trainings and certifications that I have completed. Uh, so I'm the EC Council certified instructor. And I also have done the network defender, ethical hacker, security analyst, and web application penetration testing. So yeah, today's agenda. So first we'll understand what is this course is all about. Okay, what is the CHS and what are the different types of uh, you know things that we cover? And we'll also start with the you know understanding what is cybersecurity, why it is important to learn, and some of the fundamental terminologies which are required to get started into the cybersecurity. And we'll see who is hacker, different types of hackers and what are the prerequisites to get started hackers methodology okay we can also call this has a five phase of hacking then i'll help you to set up your lab okay so first let's understand what is the uh you know ch version 11 is so i think you might you, you might be heard about you know the ec council right so if you go to ecouncil.org slash programs and slash certified ethical hacker ch so basically ec council is the you know governance body uh, you know which offers the uh, various types of cyber security related certification so one of the uh, famous certification from the ec council uh, which take you from the uh, you know beginner level to advanced level is ch so i can say ch is the stepping stone uh, you know into the cyber security the person who wants to get started your career into the cyber security so nowadays the ch is the kind of a mandatory certification that every company is looking for because so here you know uh, we are going to learn okay the latest commercial grade hacking tools techniques and methodologies used by hackers and information security professionals to lawfully hack an organization because we are ethical hackers we work for some companies to protect their uh, infrastructure from the various types of uh, you know attacks which are happening uh, you know from the outside by using the you know the provided tools like the commercial grade hacking tools and the techniques and methodologies okay whatever we are learning over here the same thing like a real hacker we are also going to apply in our uh, organization to identify the various loopholes okay like we call it as a vulnerabilities okay lawfully by taking the permissions and approval so whenever we identify any loophole or vulnerability into the systems or a network so we report them to the management or concern uh, you know respective teams in the organization to take the action in terms of like patching it so that next time okay a real hacker who has the bad intention cannot be able to 
penetrate using the same way right so here some of the things that we are going to learn like so here we are going to learn the emerging attack vectors with the modern exploit techniques okay we'll discuss about the some of the um, you know very very important um, you know uh, exploits like msdt or log4j will also look at into the emerging attack vectors that hackers are using to penetrate into the network and hands on hacking challenges so so here i'll help you to set up your lab then i'll also help you uh, you know providing the different types of isos like which are a vulnerable isos so that you can install them and you can start um, you know uh, identifying the vulnerabilities and you know you can basically play with them okay so here we also discuss about the some of the case studies like how the various types of data breaches have happened and how they have overcome it okay and different types of tricks and you know techniques and the tools that we have in the ch so let's go and have it you know look it into the syllabus so when it comes to the you know ch syllabus totally we have the 20 different modules guys okay so this 20 different modules um, you know will cover uh, the network layer attacks application layer attacks uh, you know wireless attacks mobile attacks iot you know cloud basics and also the cryptography part so if you see this so here we are actually going to learn the things in, in 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 all the directions right so uh, so you know let me just give you a quick overview of you know what this 20 modules is so if you see uh, the first module is just introduction where we are going to learn the fundamental terminologies okay including the basic hacking uh, like who is a hacker different types of a hacker and relevant information security uh, controls standards and procedures and also here here itself i'll be helping you to set up your own lab like we'll be creating one has an attacker system and we'll be we'll be you know attacking on the different types of uh, you know machines that, you know those are the victim machines so we'll be creating those lab setup in our own uh, system okay using the virtualization technology uh, you know using like vmware or in a virtual box so this is how it looked like okay so we use the kalinux operating system over here uh, so the kalinux is our attacker system and we'll be attacking on the other operating systems like windows 11 windows 7 ubuntu and some of the vulnerable operating systems like metasploitable 2 game over web pen test okay etc etc so these are all the things i'll be helping you okay uh, to set up once we you know start the uh, sessions uh, yeah this is a kind of a lab that we are actually going to create in our local network to you know learn the different types of attacks uh, before we apply uh, somewhere else right so then after that the very very important thing that ch will teach us okay is hackers methodology okay every hacker uh, will have this i mean they use this methodology okay even if he's a black hat guy or white hat guy so they follow the same methodology to perform the penetration testing on the you know any kind of a network or application or, or whatever it is so it starts with the information gathering so we call it as a footprinting then they perform the scanning on the infrastructure and they enumerate the possible information about the uh, open ports okay in the system then they also use the some of the tools like uh, qualis and nessus to perform the vulnerability uh, assessment scans on the target so once they have identified the vulnerability then they exploit it and they also use the malwares to maintain the persistent access okay between the target so this second to seventh module okay we are going to learn the hackers methodology in a practical way so it involves a lot of the uh, to a lot of the tools and you know techniques that we'll be covering over here from the nmap wireshark okay and different types of enumeration tools uh, for each 
uh, you know major ports and also vulnerability analysis so here we are going to learn the manual vulnerability uh, findings and also using an automated tools like qualis and nessus and in the system hacking you will learn the various ways and hacker will try to uh, hacker will use it to uh, you know get into the system okay it could be maybe by identifying a vulnerability or you know by taking the reverse connections from them or by performing uh, you know any kind of a social engineering technique to deliver the payload and taking the reverse connection sending a malware so here we'll learn all the different techniques how when a hacker will try to gain the access of the system so everything we are going to learn it in a practical way in our own lab setup so once you acquire these skills okay then you can apply these skills in the real world itself okay so once we're done with the hackers methodology we have the network layer attacks okay so if you see here sniffing is a network layer attack social engineering is human based attack then we have the denial of a service attack okay then we have the uh, you know session hijacking uh, and evading the ideas ips you know, firewalls i mean we have all the network layer attacks over here because most of the attacks okay will happen through the network so like i can say till the 13th module okay we have all the different types of network layer attacks that we'll be uh, covering okay so is it enough that you know if we use uh, the network uh, i mean if we learn the network layer attacks and if we implement all the security to the network our infrastructure uh, you know will get safer no right okay the primarily uh, okay we use the network security to prevent all the attacks like to prevent the information gathering scans enumeration etc 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 but let's say there is an application which is running on your uh, environment and that is not having any security so through that application they can also compromise the entire network a system or a server okay so so what i'm what i mean to is so having only not you know network security will help us over here okay so application security is also uh, important so uh, we have the application layer attacks as well over here okay from the oops uh, top 10 list okay oops is like uh, you know open web application security project so from the oops we are going to learn the major application layer attacks which could lead to you know take the reverse connections or which could lead to compromise the entire system through the application then we have the individual models like uh, hacking wifi mobile iot and basics of cloud and cryptography so every module uh, which is there in the ec council uh, uh, you know is important because once you cover this all the modules it really um, you know help you to deal with any any kind of a situation okay when you're joined as a security consultant or security analyst in the organization so here if you see this course this course is like more towards the offensive way i mean like a real hacker you know what kind of a tools they use it what kind of a you know tricks and techniques they use it to penetrate into the network the same kind of a thing here we are going to learn it because when you understand the bad guy okay how he is you know basically coming so it's very easy for us to prevent or stop him right so uh, you know with this, with the same strategy the ec council also given this uh, you know all the syllabus in a offensive way okay so once you complete this course you can join as a security analyst or you can join as a security consultant or vulnerability uh, analyst okay there are many different roles that the ec council also highlighted over here okay once you join once you complete this course you can apply for all the different uh, designations okay so which they have given over here right so this is all about the syllabus part right so i think uh, you guys are clear 
okay what is the syllabus and what are the things that we are going to uh, cover so if you guys have any questions please uh you know just uh, put it in the chat box okay i'll respond to it then let's understand what is cyber security is okay we know ethical hacking is the part of cyber security right so there are many different domains are there okay in the cyber security so ethical hacking and penetration testing is also one of the domains so once uh you know you complete the ch okay you can basically join in cyber security so what the cyber security is actually so cyber security refers to the body of technologies processes and the practices designed to protect the network devices programs and the data from the attacks damage or unauthorized access so as a cyber security guy our responsibility is to prevent the attacks damage or unauthorized access of the system network okay by implementing the or following the security best practices and processes right anything which is connected to uh, you know internet which is exposing to the internet okay which is having an ip address or which is having some kind of a critical information so we need to protect it okay by using the security best practices to stop the unauthorized activity because the hackers are the one who always try to uh, penetrate the systems and network to gain the unauthorized access right so we have to stop them by using the security best practices right so why it is important to learn okay so as you guys are aware now without security okay there is no domain i mean i mean to say let's say you have a network uh, you have a cloud you have a web application or you have some data or you have some kind of iot devices which you are using it but let's say there is no security and you know directly uh, there is an application which got created or you you bought some iot devices and you just you know started using it what will happen if those iot devices are having some kind of a critical vulnerabilities easily someone can you know penetrate the application or the iot device and they can have an access to it and then later they can misuse it so the security is now you know encompassed into all the different different areas so without a security bu approval okay business unit approval they cannot you know directly host it into the public facing networks right because we are the one who basically you know simulate the real attacks on the application or a network and once we identify the various loopholes and vulnerabilities we tell them to patch it so once it is patched okay then they are okay to okay keep that application live or else easily someone can misuse it right and there are you know many different types of cyber uh, threats also increasing okay day by day so we can also check that in the information beautiful website so there is a website called informationbeautiful.net okay uh, and slash visualization world's biggest data breaches so here we can able to see the various types of you know data breaches that are occurred or happen in a recent year like here we have the year on year data uh, yeah year on year data so let's say if i'm clicking on let's say you know canva or let's say if i'm clicking on um, you know like microsoft so it will give you how the data breach is happen okay i mean how the hackers are basically entered into uh, you know their servers and what kind of a data has been stolen okay and what kind of a techniques uh, you know that they have used to uh, you know take the personal information i mean take the private information from the 
servers. So here you will understand, okay, everything about data breach. Like uh, why it is happened, what kind of data has been out, okay, what kind of a security measures that they have not taken, okay. Uh, so like, of course, you know, it's kind of a case study that, uh, you know, uh, you know, by reading this kind of various types of data breaches, you will understand, okay, because of what the attack is happen, okay, why is the security is really important. And if you see here, we have almost all the big players, right? So if in case, if you are also, you know, if you want to check yourself, if you are also part of, uh, you know, this data breach, so you can go to a website called uh yeah have i been pawn.com so here you can just give your email address or phone number it will it will give you by comparing with all the compromised accounts okay if your account is also existed let's say your username and password email addresses and phone number is out let's say credit card debit card information also could be possible <laughs> okay so they can simply go and take that uh, clear text usernames and passwords from the uh, deep web and dark web and they try to log in into your account if you're not changing your passwords if you're just using the same passwords for the uh, you know again and again right or maybe if you're using the same password to the multiple accounts they'll also try to log in okay with your username and password to the different accounts to perform the impersonation okay so of course yeah you can just go and have a visit um have have you know just uh, go, go and check yourself and there are many different types of cyber uh you know criminals also increasing okay so if you go and uh, uh just uh yeah have a look at into the hackersnews.com so here you will be able to see the various types of threats okay malwares uh, the hackers groups okay who are uh, using uh, you know various types of uh, you know attack techniques to uh, compromise the systems right so information about the uh, cyber threats and how they are basically uh, targeting the companies so we have also created a defense strategy uh, by updating the uh, ioc's like incidents of compromised if in case if we have into our security solutions to stop such a kind of a cyber threats so that's where uh, you know that's where we have this course to uh, understand a bad guy right so if you want to beat a bad guy we also need to think like a bad guy okay then only we can stop the various types of attacks so of course, you know, every company is having nowadays uh, their own cyber defending team who always, uh, you know, try to protect their uh, infrastructure with the help of the tools and techniques and, you know, security best practices. And there are many opportunities also across the world. And this is the one of the highest, uh, you know, um, demand and also, uh, you know, high, high paid jobs. And there is no, uh, you know, program languages that you need to learn because it's all about tools and techniques, okay, that you need to learn. And it will be very much interesting because hacking is something, you know, everybody like uh, attracts to it, okay. And so, of course, yeah. So this is the one of the highest paid uh, job market. There are many openings are uh, also there in the various organizations. Right. So yeah, this is about the importance of the security. And here we have the fundamental terminologies. Okay. So what is this fundamental terminology? So we use this fundamental terminologies. I mean, we, every day. Okay. So we call like we are also started calling like vulnerabilities, right? So what is mean by vulnerabilities? It's it's like a weakness, okay, a flaw, or I can say an entry point into the system, right? So anything, okay, the vulnerability could be anywhere. It could be on network, it could be on any application that, you know, we are using and running. Uh, it could be on any 
operating system it could be any misconfiguration okay in the kernel or in the hardware anywhere okay so when i say vulnerability it is just a weakness and uh, you know attackers will identify the uh, you know the weaknesses the vulnerabilities and they try to exploit it okay so when i say exploit it so they every vulnerability has an exploit code also okay if i talked about uh, okay let me uh, give an example to you so recently uh, so okay so here you can see uh, it says update google chrome browser to patch the new new zero day exploit detected in the wild so if i click on it it will tell you what is this zero day vulnerability is okay browsers are always vulnerable <laughs> okay so the new versions and new vulnerabilities will be identified all the time and they also give the updates so it's a zero day so what is mean by zero day is also there over here so when i say zero day which means that let's say the vulnerability is identified today but they haven't released the patch okay for that vulnerability i mean there is a vulnerability but there is no solution for it okay i mean there is no patch for it so that is a zero day okay when you have a vulnerability but when there is no patch okay that is very dangerous right easily uh, you know whomever having this exploit they can use this exploit to compromise the system so the so yeah of course you know it is zero day vulnerability in the google chrome browser which is your yeah, prior to this version 103.0.506.114 so if someone is using the google chrome prior to this particular version okay it will i mean it it is vulnerable for all this three different cvs so we will learn like what is the cv is basically and uh, what is the zero day okay is what is the zero day is what is exploited what is the payload so all the different terminologies all the basic terminologies we are going to you know learn it over here so when i say exploit it is a piece of code okay which help us to take the advantage over the vulnerability okay so it could be anything okay it could be written in the any language okay it could be written in the python or simple uh, you know javascript or maybe in the bash whatever it is okay when i say exploit it's just a piece of code okay which helps uh, you know us to take the advantage over the vulnerability so every vulnerability will also have the exploit but not always you will get the exploit code in the internet because if that is the case okay if everybody is putting all the vulnerabilities and exploits in some you know you know in some kind of a forum so it's very 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 easy for an attacker or like you and me to use this exploit code to attack on any system right so not always you will get the exploits codes for every vulnerability in the internet but sometimes the hackers a security professional who wants to get uh, you know some kind of a fame they publish this exploit codes in the internet okay and we have a payload it is just a malware that hackers will be using it to deliver to the victim with the exploit itself okay i mean when you have a vulnerability on any system okay so before attacking them so let's say this is an exploit so inside the exploit they will also add the payload and once the exploitation is done the payload will also executes into their system the malware will also executes into their system and with the help of this malware they will interactively communicate and they perform the various types of malicious activities 
okay so you're going to see learn you know the various types of exploits and uh, payloads and how to create it in the upcoming sessions so here we have zero day so whenever i say zero day only one thing you you can remember guys it is i mean there is no patch available that's it i mean let's say the vulnerability is identified today and the vendor is giving the patches after a month so this month is basically called as a zero day okay and every vulnerability will also have a cve number so if you see here so here we have the three different cve numbers so it's a unique number which is assigned to a specific vulnerability by the member authority so if i copy this cv and if i put it into the google only i'll be able to see the results which are belongs to the same vulnerability you can see it is used after free animation in the google chrome prior to this version it seems is it it's all same right so it's a unique identification number which is given to which is given by a number authority okay for every vulnerability and you know so this is the cv common vulnerability exposure and this is the year when it is identified and this is a unique number assigned to this specific vulnerability okay and also every vulnerability will also have something called cvss score okay you can see here the cvss score is 8.8 i mean when you have so many vulnerabilities like as i have highlighted uh, last time every vulnerability you cannot exploit and you know get into the system there are there are vulnerabilities which might be an information disclosure vulnerabilities or uh you know simply uh you know medium level vulnerabilities so every vulnerability is prioritized okay and the severity will be decided according to its exploitability okay so we calculate the cvss score over here uh for every vulnerability so you can also like go and have a look at into like cvss score calculator so we you know depending on the vulnerability we give the uh, you know inputs okay we have to give the parameters like what kind of an attack it is okay i mean what kind of a vulnerability it is is it exploitable uh, using the network locally or physically or adjacent let's say it is exploitable using the network what is the attack complexity is it low or high let's say that attack complexity is low it's very easy to attack did they required any privileges to attack and sometimes what i mean sometimes uh, we required a privileges okay you required some username a password to exploit some vulnerability let's say there is no privileges are required will there any user interaction required while you are exploiting it did they need to go and click something or did they need to go and open something no let's say there is no interaction is required and the scope is unchanged and once they have uh, you know compromised we able to uh, you know breach the confidentiality integrity and availability okay so once you give all these details okay according to the exploit the cvss score will be calculated you can say it is 9.8 right so the cvss score will be like this i mean if anything in between the uh, so here here you can see if anything is in between the uh, you know 9 to 10 that is very critical if anything is in between the 7 to 8.9 that is high then we have similarly low and medium so whenever you have such kind of a vulnerabilities with the severity wise 
the first thing that we take an action is high and critical because which has the more impact okay which is very easy to attack and take uh, you know sometimes it it will also uh, give the direct remote access to the system so of course you know once you have this all the reports uh, from the vulnerability assessment tools or you you can also calculate the cvs score like as i have shown you by visiting the uh, first.org site okay so we'll we'll discuss about everything in a in detail way because we have a separate module which is vulnerability analysis so in the vulnerability analysis we will learn the manual techniques and automated techniques also so yeah so so we'll learn about it okay so this is the cvs score okay common vulnerability scoring system and we have doxing which is you know publishing private information into the internet without taking the proper approvals let's say you have identified vulnerability in some company but you have not reported them you have not even notified them directly or publishing their private information into the internet so that is the doxing and we have the daisy chain process which means let's say you have couple of systems in a network but one system is more vulnerable so you are already compromised the system so with the help of the same compromised system if you are attacking the other systems in the network okay so that is basically the daisy chain process is all about and once you compromise all those systems so all the systems are under your control now right so whichever the system is under your control okay uh, which is listening your remote commands is basically a bot right that is your bot so that the reason when you say bot botnet it is just a compromised system for an attacker so once they compromise the system uh you know they use those compromised systems to perform some other malicious activities got it uh any any questions guys okay so if you have any questions i'll take up your questions uh, uh yeah after uh, once we complete this uh, you know session then we have who is a hacker so we know the hacker is a person who uses the computer hardware uh, software technologies to gain the unauthorized access over a system right so depending on the motive uh, you know so he is trying to take the unauthorized access in an ethical way okay to report all the vulnerabilities to the uh, you know uh, managers and etc we call them as a white hat hackers because they have the good intention right so they always try to hack uh, you know for the i mean to identify the loopholes and to stop all the attacks so they are the white hat hackers we also call them as a penetration testers and the companies will hire uh, you know ethical hackers and penetration testers because they are the good guys whenever they identify any vulnerabilities they report it to the uh, of course they report it to the concerned team uh, to take an action or to remediate those vulnerabilities and black hat hackers are quite opposite they don't work for any companies they work for themselves i mean their intention would be different okay their intention would be like to steal some information or to damage their infrastructure um, you know etc etc so that's the reason we call them as a crackers and we have the gray hat hackers who are just you know the combination of the white hat hackers and uh, black hat hackers so sometimes they work for offensive and sometimes they work for defensive it's like the mixture of you know both and what are the prerequisites to get started okay so of course we we require technical skills and also non technical skills guys so when i say technical skills if you see 
almost all the attacks that we are going to learn and perform is you know through the network i mean when i say application layer attacks also the application is also connected to some web server and we are accessing through the network right so the very very basic skill that is required to get started is you know understanding of understanding about the network like how the data is getting transmitting from the one system to another system like the osi model tcp ip model all the seven layers in the osi and most commonly used uh, uh, protocols like ftp ssh telnet okay smtp smb uh, http https mysql rdp i mean just you know basic knowledge about the networking theoretically also that's fine okay uh, because whenever it required i'll be also covering those topics so it's very easy for you uh, to understand them i in this entire course uh, we are going to use the kalinux operating system okay because kalinux is something which is meant and created for the uh, uh, you know security professionals okay so all the security professionals penetration testers and forensic investigators they they use this uh, you know penetration testing you know kali distribution uh, which has all the tools okay pre installed in it so we are we are also going to use this penetration testing uh, you know operating system to learn the various types of tools and attacks so i'll teach you how to install it and how to deal with the basic uh, things but of course whenever you have some time uh, you know you can also go and learn all the basic uh, commands and the architecture and the, you know what kind of a permissions uh, model that the kali works etc and you know basic understanding about the uh, web applications and servers so this is some of the technical skills guys so anyway we are covering it okay part of a course but of course whenever you have some time go and spend some time over here to you know get some uh, Yeah, more details about it and non technical skills so you have to be very patient okay and you should have a self learning skills uh, googling skills and you know you have to update yourself every day by reading the security news and vulnerabilities okay because you know the security domain itself is a vast okay every day uh, the new vulnerabilities and new uh, different Yeah, you know malware uh, you know the new new things will be coming up right so you have to be you know you have to ready to learn and acquire those skills okay to update yourself so of course yeah, once you subscribe to various types of the hacking related forums and news okay you will be having a notification so of course yeah, you can easily um, uh, you know learn and understand it right so this is about the uh, you know prerequisites part guys then why a hacker will i mean how when hacker will try to uh you know why a hacker will try to uh i mean uh, what what we say perform the hacking right they have their own motive right they i mean they uh sorry you know they hack for uh you know money and some people will do it for challenge okay some people will just do it for excitement or it could be an internal or external threat right so everyone they have their own motive right so when you are doing a hacking uh like an ethical hacker your motive is to identify the vulnerabilities and report it right if he is a bad guy so they have you know they they might be doing it for money or they might be doing it for uh, you know some just you know challenge or excitement and etc right so to fulfill this motive okay so to fulfill the motive what they required they required an opportunity right okay you have a motive now 
you know you're planning to compromise uh, you know some system but how do you able to compromise it okay how do you able to enter with the help of weaknesses which is vulnerabilities so they identify the vulnerabilities okay then they exploit those vulnerabilities to carry out the attack so we call this as a elements of hacker mom okay so okay so uh, you know depending on it we have this hackers methodology so this hackers methodology will teach you okay how to uh, basically perform uh, the penetration testing or how to perform the hacking okay so if you see here the okay so we also call it as a five phase of hacking okay it is very very important that we are going to learn uh, you know in this course in a practical way the very very first thing is what a hacker will do is let's say before he is attacking he do the information gathering okay let's say you know he will go and identify the ip addresses okay what kind of a technologies they are using what kind of a servers they are using what kind of softwares they are using so they gather like employee details email addresses phone numbers okay different types of products that they are dealing with so you know they gather almost all the possible information about the target so that is the reconnaissance so there are you know we have the two different types of reconnaissance one is the passive and one is the active so whenever i say it's you know passive it just you know attackers will look at into the publicly available resources to gather the information so we have the uh, you know osint technique and osint tools so we use this osint tools to you know gather the publicly available resources from the internet okay i mean they themselves would have posted somewhere else right so we go and gather those details and we have the active reconnaissance which is like scanning we directly interact with them to identify the uh, possible information like we directly go and perform the host discovery scan port scans enumeration scans and vulnerability scans on the target whenever we identify the vulnerability we exploit it so here we have the different types of exploitation techniques like how they take the bind connections how they take the reverse connections you know password cracking or you know by sending a malware to uh, them for you know just performing a phishing attack with the help of the social engineering technique etc okay once they are inside the system once they have an access to the system they try to maintain the access it's not like today i have an access to the system i'll be exploiting it okay they will wait for the right time okay to exploit it maybe you know weekends or maybe you know when they think uh, uh, you know it's the right time so they try to exploit it so until the time they maintain the access with the uh, target system by injecting the malware into it then later once they are done with the exploitation they clear the tracks and they'll come out from the system okay because let's say everything whatever you have performed on the target system will be recorded in the logs so later if those logs are going to the forensic uh, team and you know there are chances that they can easily uh, identify you know who has entered what kind of ip addresses that they have used okay how how they have entered right so they also clear the tracks to not leave any digital footprints of uh, you know any kind of a digital footprint footprints into their uh, you know system right so everything that we are going to learn in a theoretical way and as well as the practical way okay so once we like before start before starting any kind of a module okay we learn uh first theoretically okay which will give you the deeper understanding and reasoning 
and it'll build the content logic and it will also help to set a strategy right then in the same day we are also going to do some kind of practicals and after that i am also give you a small assignments to you so you, you guys can go and um, you know perform these assignments whenever you guys are free and i'll teach you the lab setup so this is something uh, you know we'll discuss uh, in the upcoming classes okay how to set up the lab um, you know what what how many systems are required so basically if you have uh, you know i5 or i7 with the 8 to 16 gb ram a windows system uh, that is enough we'll um, i mean i will show you okay how to create the lab and how to install the Kali Linux operating system as an attacker system and some other vulnerable system has a uh, you know victim system or a target system right so this is all about uh, you know just background about the course uh, content and what is cyber security and who is a hacker what prerequisites are required uh, yeah I, I can say it's just a theory that we have discussed today uh, but all the sessions will be in a practical way okay uh, of course yeah all the sessions will be in a practical way but of course you know before we get started anything it's better to understand the theory learn all the prerequisites then we can start right so that's how uh, you know the things i have planned um, so yeah so this is all about the today's uh, you know, demo session is yeah if you have any questions guys you can please let me know